Robot in three days, we're back again. Uh, we're going to shoot this quick video showing you a couple of things. First off, the big question people have been asking is, what happens when we shoot frisbees upside down in the shooter? Uh, you're going to see the results of that after this. Another thing we wanted to show you guys, something you saw winning the world championship last year in Einstein, is this, the photon cannon. A photon cannon, it's just a flashlight. You might notice it's up there, it's highlighting the spot in the field, the goal, what you're trying to shoot at. And what's cool about that is it not only gives you your X, Y position, it also gives you your range. Because it's at an angle, uh, if you get it exactly in the spot where you, your sweet spot is, uh, you know you're going to hit that shot every single time. So we're getting a lot of questions about why we're not picking up from the floor. And we want to add in an additional level of complexity. When you're indexing the frisbees, they are asymmetric uh, in their profile when they're upside down or right side up. So your indexer may work differently. Uh, another challenge is the flight patterns are slightly different. They are somewhat consistent, but when shooting for the high goal, you only have a, uh, you have a small margin of error. There does seem to be a difference between the way the frisbees fly when they're shot right side up or upside down. In the higher goal, there's lower margin of error, so it is a little bit more difficult to make when you have two consecutive shots in different orientations. But in the middle goal, it doesn't seem to make as much of a difference. <laughs> In addition, the short range shots aren't as much of a difference because they come out more like a line drive. But in the long range shots, they do have a difference in how far they fly.